Today we're going to meet a new friend. Her name is Charlotte. She hangs out with our friends Amy and Anne, especially in Sunday school, where she has been learning about following Jesus with them. Today, Anne and Charlotte, and Mr. John, will help us to understand how to follow Jesus by thinking about the word peace. What are you doing, Anne? Well, I'm making a list of things that I can do to make a more peaceful world, like we talked about in Sunday school. That's a great idea. Can I help you? Sure, because I really don't have any ideas yet. Hmm, how about we don't say mean things? Would that make for peace? I think so. Or how about we don't yell at people? Would that make things peaceful? I bet it would. Then we could make things even more peaceful by not pushing people. Or tripping people. Wow, I think if we don't do those things, we could show people what peace looks like. Hmm. But I wonder if we're missing something. Could be. Maybe we could go ask Mr. John. Sure, let's do it. Hello, girls. How are you doing today? We are great, but we were wondering if you could help us with some ideas. Of course. What are you thinking about? In our last Sunday School class, we talked about how God wants us to help make the world a more peaceful place. Well, we've been working on a list of things that we can do to make things more peaceful. Could you please take a look and maybe give us some ideas? Of course. These are great ideas. They would all help to make the world more peaceful. Yay! But if you don't mind, I do have a suggestion. You mean like not laughing at people or making fun of people? Well, those would help. But making a peaceful world is about more than not doing bad or mean things. What, what do, do you mean, mean Mr. John? John? Well, peace also means making things better for other people by showing God's love to people we know and people we don't know. So, peace means not only not doing bad things to people, but doing good things for people? You got it. And there's even a special Bible name for that kind of peace. It is called Shalom. So, do you girls think you can think of some ways to make the world a more peaceful place? You mean a more shalom place? Oh, you do know what I am talking about. Well, there's a girl in my new class from another country. Her English isn't that good and people laugh at her. I could ask her to be my friend. And there's a boy who gets picked on. I could stand up for him and be his friend. Those are great ideas. They would make the world a more shalom place. You, you mean, mean a, a more, more peaceful, peaceful place? place? Yes, they would both make for peace and for shalom. Mr. John has given us a new word to think about, shalom. Shalom means more than making peace by not fighting. It means working at getting along better to build the kind of world that God wants us to build. 